Well, for those of you who may have seen uh, Facebook a few minutes ago, I said I was going to jump on the line. Hey, this is Neil Palacci with the Wealth Creator Company for Women, uh, your concierge women's money coach. I've been doing a series on life insurance. Hey, Craig, how are you, man? Good, good to see you. Uh, I've been doing a series on life insurance, uh, which I'll continue maybe later today or tomorrow. Uh, but I've been thinking about this saying... Uh, I mentioned on Facebook, Albert Einstein, I've been thinking about this saying, and, and it's just been sticking in my, in my brain about, about what it means and how to apply it and how it can help people, how it can help me. Uh, how it can help me help people. Help me help you. Ah, who knows what film that was from? Come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so... Here's the saying. Oh, and I found out something about the saying uh, after doing a little bit of research on it. Uh, but, the, but the saying is, and I'm going to read it so I get it accurate. Everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. I love that saying. I love that saying and what it means. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Now, the thing that I found out about uh, the whole Albert Einstein connection is that apparently there is no Albert Einstein connection. <laughs> I was like, okay, Albert Einstein apparently said this uh, according to... Uh, different places that I looked on the internet, and then I looked at other places, and you go to Snopes and, you know, different stuff like that, and discover that, in fact, he didn't say it. They have no idea who said it. Um, uh, you know what? It sounds like something that he would say. So I'm just going to say Albert Einstein probably did say this. But if nobody else did, then I'm just going to attribute it to me. So here it is again. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree... It will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Now, why is this important to us on a on a day to day basis? You know, I remember some years ago uh, I was being coached by a fellow by the name of Dan Sullivan. Uh, Dan's a great guy. I haven't seen him in uh, several years. Uh, if you want to check his stuff out, go to strategiccoach.com. Uh, and I remember saying the uh, I remember him saying to me, us. It was in a group. Uh, that, you know, you're told when you're a kid, and I'm paraphrasing, you're told when you're a kid, keep practicing, keep doing this. You'll get better at it over time. And the reality is that that may be true for some things, but there's a lot of things that you're just not good at. You're not built to, to do them. Your brain does not work that way. Some people are good at math. Some people are good at English. Some good people are good with their hands. Some people are not. It, it's, it's not a right brain, left brain thing, I don't think. But if that's the answer, then so be it. But the fact is that we are not all good at everything. And just because you practice something doesn't mean uh, that you're going to get good at it necessarily. You may get a little better at it, but doesn't mean you're going to be really, really good at it. So he said, when you're a kid, you practice and people tell you to practice and you keep going and you keep going and you keep going. And he said, you practice these habits. And then when you're older, you really have some really well practiced bad habits. Like you're still no good at them. You're still no good at those things. And it's just the way it is. It's just like me trying to be the fastest man in the world. It doesn't matter. I mean, when I was 14, 15, 16, and even if I had trained as hard as I possibly could for that particular feat, it ain't going to happen. Hussein Bolt and not have to worry about me. So as it applies to the things that we're doing on a daily basis, how much stuff are we doing that we shouldn't be doing? And I know, look, it's easy to say, right? So you say, look, but aren't we taught to do not only what we have to do, but to do what we should be doing? To do what we should be doing. Hey, sometimes, right, I say this to my kids, sometimes you've got to do things that you don't like to do. It's true. Absolutely 
True. But what's the goal? The goal is to get to a point where you're only doing the things that you love to do and you're only doing the things that you're the best at. We only live so long. Why the hell would you waste your time doing things that you hate to do and doing things that you're no good at? It makes no sense. So what I'm saying to you today is figure out, put it down on a piece of paper, figure out what are those things that you love to do? What are those things that you're best at? They're probably one and the same. What are the things that you don't love to do? And what are the things that you're really crappy at? Those are probably one and the same. And one by one, cross off the list the things that are on the I don't like to do this and I'm no good at it side by doing one of two things. One of two things. Number one, just stop doing them. Because in many cases, they don't need to be done. They just don't need to be done, not to reach your goals. You've got to figure out what your goals are. But in many cases, they don't need to be done. Secondly, if they do need to be done, but you're shit at them, then get somebody else to do it. Now, sometimes that costs money. And I understand that it costs money. And you may have to start out doing it yourself. Or maybe you go to the local college and you get an intern. Or maybe you have your kids help you. Or maybe you have your spouse help you. Or maybe you go to one of the things that are out there that are free. There's plenty of free stuff. And so stuff for five bucks or whatever. Go find a way to do it. Like Fiverr. Five dollars to get some stuff done. Right? So in some cases... This is what you have to be doing. You have to be thinking about what it is that you want to do. Do I love to do it? What are the things that I love to do? Do those things. Those are the things that you're going to be good at. The things that you're not good at, start taking them off the list. It ain't worth it. You're 50 years old. You're 40 years old. You're 60 years old. You've only got so much time on the planet. Figure this stuff out. Figure out a way to pay your bills. I understand that you got to do that. So, what's it going to take? When you get off the phone today, when you get off the phone, when you get off the video, what do you call this thing? It's a cell phone. When you get off this broadcast today, do this. Split a piece of paper down the middle. Write down on the left side all the things that you love to do, which are probably going to be the same things as uh, the things that you're good at. On the right side, I don't like to do these things, and I'm probably not good at them anyway. They drive me mad. And in fact, the stuff that you do when you do it on the right side is getting in the way of the stuff that you're doing on the left side. So figure out a way to stop doing it. And that's my message for today. So I will be back later on today or tomorrow to talk about other things. But I had to kind of get this off my chest because I was thinking about it, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. And it'll also help me to do exactly what it is that I'm preaching. So I hope you have a great day. <clears throat> I hope you're all doing well. Have a fantastic end of 2016. Um, and let's kick it into gear for 2017. All right. Love to all. Bye.